we get into this information constipation state where it's like we know all these things to do and really it puts us in a state of paralysis because it's like you heard it all before you've seen it all before i mean really social media has made the world so small right information travels at the speed of light and so you got all this information and so we become sedated by information we become satisfied and content with the fact that we know to do good but to know to do good and not to do it is a disease it is wickedness and a lot of us we watch we watch everybody win in every facet of life we watch the underdog rise under the lights and we think to ourselves, when is it going to be my time? When is it going to be my time? And in order to be next, you got to see this thing differently. You got to change the way you live, you eat, you walk, you talk, you think. And once you walk in that newness, then you'll be next. When inconvenience becomes pleasure, when you have your mind made up that no matter how you're feeling, every day you're going to give it everything you have. You're going to give, you're going to see, you're going to sow, you're going to serve and give it everything you have. Then all of a sudden the world opens up to you. Come to the resolve this year that dedication, discipline, perspective, preparation is going to be your new code of conduct. Motivation has an expiration date. And when motivation dies, discipline must take its place. You got to kill the blame game. Stop blaming it on the person that walked out on you. Stop blaming it on the person that overlooked you. Stop blaming it on the person that undervalued you. Stop blaming it on the person that did not promote you, that did not see it, that did not believe it. Stop blaming everybody and look yourself in the mirror. It's your fault you failed. You started the year with a little motivation and a few ideas and it all tanked before February. And the thing you got to ask yourself is, am I going to repeat my history or will I blaze a new trail? Because history for many of you is insecurity. History for many of you is depression and anxiety and that substance you can't shake and that person you can't leave. History for many of you is they're better than me. History for many of you is, nobody will show up if I build it. I don't have the time. I'm not good enough. It's time to get out of the way. It is because of you that you are not where you want to be. You are the issue. It's you. Your issue is you. Nobody has lied to you more than you. And so here's what I need you to do. Go find a mirror. Go for a walk. Go for a drive. Tell yourself this is my year. Motivation has an expiration date. And when motivation dies, discipline must take its place. The only way you're going to do, the only way you're going to accomplish, the only way you're going to execute is if discipline takes the place of your motivation. But until that motivation expires and evolves into discipline, you will never become who God has called you to become. You gotta be willing to do what 98% of the people in this world are unwilling to do. You gotta eat differently. You gotta work differently. You gotta think differently. You gotta talk differently. You gotta walk differently. If you want elevation, if you want next level, if you want to see this thing differently this year, everything you do has to change. Your insecurity has been in the way too long. Your jealousy, your envy has been in the way too long. The fear you've been wrestling with has been in the way too long. Get out of the way! First we conquer the day and then we execute the week and that week turns into a month and that month turns into a quarter and that quarter turns into a year and then all of a sudden you look up and you're no longer just this motivated onlooker you are a disciplined, desperate, dangerous fulfiller of destiny some of the most brilliant minds of our generation are high school and college dropouts let me ask you a question 
When are you gonna drop out of the mentality that you are not enough? Please, please do yourself a favor and dispense with the excuses that you don't have time. Dispense with the excuse that you're not good enough. Dispense with the excuse that nobody will show up if I build it. That too many people are better than me. Drop out of the, I tried it last year and it didn't work. No, you didn't work. Remove yourself from the list of people that have disappointed you, that have lied to you, that have let you down. You are number one on that list. Remove yourself. The real you is breathing down your neck, begging you to manifest. Stop lying to yourself. Stop letting you down. What in the world are you waiting for? There are people that are depending on you. God place you in this world to do something. Get to work. The time is now to start applying what you know. What's the point of taking notes? What's the point of what's the point of buying courses? What's the point of joining communities? What's the point of making the investment? Some of you have journals full of dreams and no action has been taken. You will find that the men and women that turned the world upside down were the ones who got out of their own way. Get to work. You owe you. Because if you continue to lie to yourself, you won't be able to diagnose and treat your condition, your dysfunction, your disorder, in order to treat it and change it. It must be identified. And once you identify, you gotta accept this reality. And the problem with many of you is you have not accepted the fact that you are lazy. You have not accepted the fact that you are inconsistent. You can't diagnose what you have not identified. Doubts gonna knock at your door, and insecurities gonna knock at your door, and adversity and trial and tribulations gonna knock at your door, and difficult tasks gonna knock at your door. And so you need to be prepared. Ready or not, it's coming. Are you prepared? If you're gonna win the year, if you're gonna win in life, then you got to be prepared, you need perspective, and you need discipline.